Hello everybody, and finally I got together another OTR Tuesday. Uh, this one I'm going to keep it really short. 1955 to 1958, uh, NBC aired one of the first and one of the best premier science fiction programs uh, in U.S. history. X-1, it featured such luminaries as uh, works by Ray Bradbury, by Isaac Asimov, by Philip K. Dick, just to name a few. And today I've got uh, an episode for you, and I hope that you enjoy it very, very much. Uh, if you can, uh, reach out and just look for additional episodes out there. I'm sure eventually I'll be posting more. Uh, it is a really, really great anthology sci-fi program. Mm -hmm. Countdown for blast off. X minus five, four, three, two, X minus one, fire. From the far horizons of the unknown come transcribed tales of new dimensions in time and space. These are stories of the future, adventures in which you'll live in a million could-be years on a thousand maybe worlds. The National Broadcasting Company, in cooperation with Street and Smith, publishers of astounding science fiction, presents X minus one. Night story, The Green Hills of Earth. The men who pioneer the trade routes of the world, the sailors of the clipper ships, the whaling men, railroaders, black gangs on the tramp steamers, all have their own stories and song about dangers and struggles of their lives. This is the story of Riesling, the blind singer of the spaceways. When I first met him, he was hustling drinks in the Twin Moons Bar at Dry Waters, Mars. He'd won a guitar off a Chinese barkeep at Luna City by uh, cheating at one thumb. And he made his whiskey by singing in the bar and passing the hat. Hey, listen to a Hertzman. Don't you sing pretty? Like a 16-year-old gal. Yeah. Hey, uh, Riesling, look over there at the bar. There's an Institute for Striper giving you the idea, you know? Manner of speaking. Cold-looking scoundrel, ain't he? Mm. Gives the idea graduated Harriman Space Institute, three men above St. Peter. <laughs> <laughs> Who is he? Captain Higgs off the go show. Yeah, well, he sure gives you the once-over. Maybe he's got a job. That don't make never no mind to me. I've been blacklisted. Hicks logged me for making up a song on watch. Right fight song, too. Oh, the skipper is a father to his crew. Yeah, yeah well, well, hold on. Here comes old Brass on. Oh, uh, Riesling, I've been looking for you. You've kept your nose clean, and we're going to give you another chance to get back to deep space. Been a little changing down after the Gorshawk, ain't you, skipper? How'd you know that? Uh, you got that new atomic pile drive. If there's been a leak at the shop, oh, I... Oh, take it easy, skipper. You'll have that gold braid just to crawl and right up your arm. Quit stalling, Riesling. Take it or leave it. It's a loop trip to Jupiter with the standard release. <laughs> I reckon... Double pay when you get back, if you get back. Last three of them atomic tea kettles blew somewhere in the asteroids. If you're scared. Scared? Well, that gosh hawk is one stinking old tub. Her engine's got more bugs than a beagle dog in spring. And our new drive's about as safe as a pretty gal in the Ozarks. But I reckon she'll do for one more trip. <laughs> Hi, Jimmy Lake. Meet my friend Hertzman. He can't hold his liquor no more than a sieve, poor boy. Riesling, you sober enough to sign the book? Drunk or sober, I make my mark. Stand aside. Three X's? Took me a middle name. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. You two lay below. And Hertzman, yeah? get him sobered up before the skipper makes rounds.
Cargo stowed, Captain. Fuel lines away and ready. Uh, good, Casey. Well, what's that? What it? Oh, that's a guitar, I guess. If it's that shoeless hillbilly, I'm going to tell him. Hi, Skipper. Riesling, what the devil are you doing up here? That number two jet ain't fit. Cadmium dampers are warped. Crooked like a turtle's back. Well, why tell me? Tell the chief engineer. I did. He says they'll hold. Well? He's wrong. Oh, he's wrong, eh? He's got a Harriman Institute degree in electronics and power. And some drunk space rat says he's wrong. Skipper, I was damping jets when that shirt-tailed tad wore pins for buttons. I got no time for you, Riesling. Stretch your name off the book no, and No, 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 don't get excited. Well, are you shipping or not? I reckon, I reckon. Then get below. That's all. Casey, sound take off. Aye, sir. Come on, boys. On a Hawk-class clunker in those days, damping was done by hand with a multiplying vernier and a danger peeper. Jetman slept with one ear tuned to that, and as long as the peeper ticked off slow and steady, we knew the ship was safe uh, for a while. Riesling, you better stole that guitar. If Jimmy Legs catches you, you'll blow a gasket. Don't worry, I could damp this tea kettle in my sleep. And how's number two? All right, so far. Say, did you ever hear that song about Hicks? The one that got me blacklisted? No. Oh, the skipper is the father of his crew. A gentle guide and light to me and you. <laughs> but on Mars he likes his women if they walk or if they're swimming. Or if they got six arms instead of two. <laughs> Second verse is better. Yeah. <laughs> the skipper likes his liquor by the court. <laughs> yeah, he'd go from Mars to Venus for a snort. <laughs> He'll drink rocket fuel and... <laughs> well, hi, Skipper. Didn't see you come in. Uh, you were uh, too busy, eh? Who's watching the gauge? I got an eye on it. Don't you fret none. Reasonably, I'm going to fix it so you couldn't get a space berth on a rocket-powered pogo stick. You're locked. Report the casing under arrest. I don't rightly think I will, Skipper. You what? Well, you kind of forget, Skipper. According to space code, you can't remove a jet man till the end of the watch, right? You tell me I... I... Riesling, your ship is over at 2300. And I'll see you ride the rest of the way in slop locker. Maybe, maybe. In the meantime, you clear out of my power room. I gotta make me up a third verse from a song. <laughs> Yeah, I got it. Power room. Damp number two, a point. Number two, I... Hold on, Hurtsman. Jimmy Legs, is that force drive boil up there? Give me that, Casey. Recently, I've taken about enough from you. And I got a little news for you, Skipper. Number two jet is bulging like a fat lady in a satin skirt. Listen, you clown. Damp number two, a point. Why, uh, sure. Look out, Hurtsman. I'll take it. Uh, you watch the gauge. Now. Riding easy here. It's bucking a little. What? What? Uh, Riesling, what are you? Hit the emergency! All right! Uh, 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 she, she won't damp. It's that warp. Yeah. Uh, there go the lights. Duck her. Uh, duck. Riesling. Uh, Riesling! Stay down behind the baffle. I, I gotta take a look. It's ready, right? You look out. I've gotta fish the hot stuff out of the tube. What's going on down there? Shut up, Jimmy Legs. I'm busy. She's tight now. What happened? Number two blew your lunk-headed space rat. You all right? Oh, a little sunburn. Lights are gone. What's the matter with the emergency uh, circuits? Uh, Riesling, I... Jimmy Legs, get some lights down here. It's dark. Get the emergency yeah, light but, on. But they're on, Riesling. Uh, but they went on right after the blast. The lights are on. What are you talking about? It's dark. Jimmy Legs! Jimmy Legs, t- turn on the lights. Turn on the lights! <laughs> That blue, radioactive glow from the jets was the last thing Riesling ever saw. His optic nerve was burned out in an instant. He was in sick bay on the rest of the trip, and on the swing back, we set Riesling down at dry water. I ran into Riesling about two months later, playing his guitar on a jetty that ran out into the canal. He had a dirty rag tied over his eyes with a jetman's knot, and his hat was on the wharf beside him. When he finished, uh, we walked out along the canal. Yeah, I'm doing right fine. Working saloons mostly. And I've been thinking some funny songs, Hertzman. The words come out different than they used to. Come on along the canal with me. Sure. 
Here, take my arm. <laughs> I know the way. That's another funny thing, Hurt. I figure I know it better than other folks. Look back there, towards the city. What do you see? Ooh, new factory buildings? <laughs> you can smell them from here. I still remember them old Martian towers, old before Bible times on Earth. Thin and graceful like the, like the fairy palaces my old grandma used to tell about down home in the hills. Yeah, they torn them down now, or else blocked them up with cinder blocks. Hertzman, when I stand out here in the canal, I, I can see it the way it used to be. The water, ice blue, with the stars shining up out of it. Way off there, the city with a tower sweeping up like a, like a bird a flying off a tree. I can see it. Hmm. Now it's the dirtiest stinkhole in the system. Not to me. Listen, Hertzman. Bone tie the race that raised the towers. Forgotten are their lords. Long gone the gods who shed the tears that lap these crystal shores. Slow beats the time-worn heart of Mars Beneath this icy sky The thin air whispers voicelessly That all who live must die that up? I can't figure myself. I never put words together like that before. I reckon it's just I, I got time now to study the words and shine them up in my head till, till they sing true. Why don't you go home, Riesling? Home? Earth. I've been thinking about that, hurts me. When I was a young and down in the Ozarks, I used to climb a big old oak tree my daddy had in the dooryard. You could see the hills for miles, green and cool. I've been thinking about that. Well, why don't you go back then? Someday. Someday hurts me, but I, I couldn't face those hills now. I couldn't stand to see black when I knew they was lying all around me, cool and green in the sun. I, I couldn't stand that. Yeah. Well, let's get back to town, Hertzman. I, I made three and a half dollars march today. Now I'm all set to drink it down before dawn. Come on. <laughs> I lost track of Riesling after that. I shipped out in a slow freight of the Condor class for Luna. And he hits the hike to, to Venusburg and an ore ship in, a, in the Triplanet run. And so he beat around the system. Venusburg, Layport, to dry water to New Shanghai and back. Any spaceport was his home and no skipper refused to lift the extra mass of Riesling and his guitar. He made up his song, sitting out watches down in the power rooms with old shipmates while the monotonous beat of the jets shook the hull plates. Hear the jets. Hear the jets. Hear them snarl at your back when you stretched on the rack. Hear the jets. Feel the pain in your ship. Feel a strain in your grip. Hear, Hear the, the jets. jets. Feel her rise. Feel her drive. Strain and steel come alive on her jets. On her jets. <laughs> Little by little, his songs began to travel along with spaceways ahead of him. Raw spaceman songs. A different kind of song. Strange, sad songs, like the ones you find printed in the Centennial Editions. Well, there's one called Dark Star Passing and Death Song of a Weed Coat. And then finally, The Green Hills of Earth. It grew for 20 years, that song. They say it started way back when Riesling was down in the labor camps in Venus, singing for the indentured men. When Riesler, well, when he hit Venus, he'd always head out for the backwoods to sing for him. First, if someone will kindly pass a bottle. Oh, it ain't much, Riesling. Here. It'll do. Oh, <coughs> oh what is that stuff? <laughs> Tequila. <sighs> well, you can't make him good here on Venus. Uh, what do you use? Karak bush. Home it is. Home it is different. How'd you come to sign on? When a man comes out the village from the city, he says there's work. You sign the paper and you work. Work? It's work, all right. 
ten stinking hours in the jungle with machete. How long you signed for? Well, then I only speak Spanish. I, I don't know. The paper says ten years. Ten years. How long you got to go? What's the use? We ain't getting home. You know how many men die out there in the swamp today? Ten men. Ten. What's the use? My mother, she's dead. My father don't care. Girl? Oh, she says she waits. I I don't know. You, you sing some more, Riesling. We drink and you sing, huh? <laughs> Maybe a new song, son. We ride in the molds of Venus. We retch out a tainted breath. See? Foul are her flooded jungles crawling with unclean death. We've tried each spin in space moat and reckoned it's true word. Take us back to the homes of men and the cool green hills of earth. Take us back. What's the matter? Finish the song, Riesling. I, I can't. I, I can't yet. It just don't come. I'll finish it uh, when I go home. That's it. When I go home to the hills. Now I'll pass that bottle. A dawn whistle don't blow for four hours. <laughs> That's where the Green Hills started. And I was there when it was finished. It was 20 years after that. And there wasn't a man flying or on the beach that hadn't heard of Riesling in his songs. He was getting old now for a spaceman. He was a familiar figure through the system. Tall, gaunt, with that dirty bandage tied across his blind eyes. I was a chief jetman then on the old Falcon. We were cradled at Venus, Ellis Isle... Scheduled for a direct jump to Great Lakes, Illinois, on Earth. I was checking in Dunnage when Riesling felt his way up the gangway and came through the lock. Hey, Riesling! Who's that? Mike Hertzman. H- H- Hertzman! W- what are you doing in this old hog boat? Well, I figured I'd ride it back to Earth. Earth? You going home, Riesling? I thought you were never going to make that run. What changed your mind? Oh, I've been hankering to set foot in the Ozarks again. Yeah, how about those hills? Yeah, I've been singing about them so long now, Hertzman. i I got to finish the song. I... I get to set foot in the dooryard and hear the wind through that oak tree. <laughs> it's not the last thing I'll be doing. I've I, I got to get home before... Uh, uh, look, Riesling, there's a new company policy in effect now. No more deadhead rides and new code books in force. Oh, that don't bother me none. I, I'm riding it back to Earth. I'm going to finish my song. It, it's got to be there. Yeah, but the skipper's one of them youngsters fresh out of Harriman Institute cadet training. He'll throw the book at you. At me? I've been around space as long as Haley's Common, and Bruce's Ridge. I, I'm going back to Earth. Ooh, green hills of Earth. I'm, I'm going home. Well, secured, Hertzman? Yes, sir. What are you doing here? Uh, this is uh, Riesling, Captain. Riesling, huh? I'm uh, dragging it back to Earth, Captain. Not in this ship. Shake a leg and get out of here. Oh, no, Captain, you wouldn't begrudge an old man a trip home. I can't do it. Space precautionary code clause six. Now, come on, clear out. Well, now, look, Skipper, you, you can slide me by onto the distressed spaceman's coals in that code book. Distressed spaceman, my eye. You've been bumming around the system for 30 years. Oh, Skipper, <laughs> you, you're making me do something I've never done to no one before. I'm an old man, an old blind man. I, I want to go home. I never crawled in front of a force drop in my life, but you got to let me drag home. The law says a man's got a trip coming to him, and you, you can stretch for a poor old blind man. Now, 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 can't you? you? You got to, Skipper. All right, you old space rat, but keep out of the way. I run an efficient ship, and I don't want any trouble. Oh, no, 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 sir, no trouble. I'll just lay down to the power room. I'd kind of like to be near the jets when they blast off for Earth.
Sit down, Riesley. Take a load off your feet. Hey, thanks, Mac. Power room, fire three. Aye, sir. Now, have you seen these new automatic tampers, Riesley? Don't have to do nothing, just sit and watch. Yeah, where's the peeper? Turned off. It's all automatic. Uh, you youngsters have it solved. When I was twisting her tail, you had to stay awake. <laughs> you got the old hand-damping plates on? Oh, but the links, I unship them. They, they cover up the dials. You might need them. Oh, the automatics handle everything. Well, you're finally going home, Riesling, huh? Won't seem the same out past the moon. Yeah, I've been waiting for this a long time, Mac. It's, it's going to be good to get home, I reckon. The arching sky is calling spacemen back to their train. Ah! Oh! Ah! Mac! 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 I got the emergency! I... Ah! Ah! My hand dampers! Here are the leaks! Mac! 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 They ought to be on the wall somewhere here. Ah! Oh, hey, I got them! Emergency squad coming in! Now, stay out! Stay out! The place is hot! Radiation blast. Stay behind the I got the link shipped. I can hand damper now. What's going on in there? I'm, I'm spilling jet free. Is this McDougal? McDougal's dead. This is Riesling on watch. Riesling. Get out of there. You'll kill yourself. Don't worry, Skipper. I, I know this power room like the inside of my shirt. Somebody's got the damper. Riesling, I'm sending in a crew. No use. The whole room will be hot for an hour and the other jets won't hold. Oh, Skipper. Skipper, throw on a recording tape. What? Go on a recording tape. I, I got a song to finish. And I, I gotta make it right now. Yeah. I can hear it. Riesling, the radiation will burn you down. <sighs> She's clear now, Skipper. She'll burn out clean. Riesling! Riesling, are you all right? Uh, I reckon. Pretty sharp sunburn. You'll pick me out of here with tongs and bury me in a lead shield coffin. Uh, Radiation's getting bright. I, I can almost see it. Bright, and rosy like the sun. Like the sun over the hills down home. We pray for one last landing on the globe that gave us. Birth, let us rest our eyes on the fleecy skies of the cool green, green hills of Earth. That's the way he died. Riesling, the blind singer of the spaceways. Singing of the home he never reached. The cool green hills of Earth. You have just heard X-1, transcribed by the National Broadcasting Company in cooperation with Street and Smith, publishers of astounding science fiction. Tonight's story, The Green Hills of Earth, written by Robert Heinlein and adapted for radio by Ernest Canoy. Featured in the cast were Ken Williams as Riesling, Nelson Almstead as Hertzman, Matt Crowley as Hicks, Wendell Holmes as Casey, Bill Griffiths as Rodriguez, Bill Lipton as The Skipper, and William Zuckert as McDougal. Original music for Riesling songs was written and sung by Tom Glazer. Your announcer, Fred Collins. X-1 was directed by Fred Way and is an NBC Radio Network production. And now, next week, the strange story of Dr. Grimshaw's sanitarium and of a patient there who suddenly found himself involved in a game of cat and mouse. But the man had actually been reduced to the size of a mouse while the cat remained full size. What happened then? You'll learn next week. Convicts tell their true stories on The Loser tonight over most NBC radio stations.